What's up guys, Intellitix Studios here, and my apologies for the kind of messy background, but this it will be the unboxing of the Dirt Devil Breeze Cyclonic Upright Vacuum Cleaner. I managed to score this at Big Lots for 50 bucks, and this is currently listed as out of stock and discontinued on Dirt Devil's website, so it appears that this machine has indeed been axed, yet... For some reason, my local Big Lots got a few of these in, and I asked about it since there was no display model for these. They were just randomly shitting, uh, they were randomly sitting on the shelf next to the uh, vacuum cleaners, like not even like in the vacuum section, but they were across the section where the pet stuff was. And for some reason, it was sitting over there while the vacuums were on the other side. But so I saw this, and I only saw one of them, and I was like, well, "What's the deal with this?" And they were like, yeah, we just randomly got a few of these in. So they are discounted. They are for sale. Um, and these were discounted to $50. You can see $49.99, which is pretty cheap for a machine like this at Big Lots uh, outside of any sort of normal sale. If you look at the tag right here, it says $49.99, Dirt Devil Breeze Upright. And, you know, all the other weird information. Uh, similar information that was like on the box for the Power Groom and the Elite. And this one, I, unlike the Power Groom, the Power Groom I was very kind of set on getting this, but this one I kind of wasn't quite set on getting it. The first time I saw it, I immediately put it in my cart just so that way I could contemplate it, you know, with it still in my possession so no one else grabbed it. But, you know, I circled around the store for a while. I uh, also, this, this is also the time that I bought this rug. So I actually bought this rug at the same time that I bought this machine. And, um, but you can see it took me so long to unbox, it's just been sitting in my car, untouched for a long time. And I believe I'm pretty sure I'm past the return date at this point, so I probably can't return it if it ends up being crap, but we'll see. Um, so this machine I have owned, I have, have owned this quite a few times in the past. I owned one about five years ago, and then I owned one... Not too long ago, I did a demo on it, I, you know, like a house cleaning demo. I never did a full-fledged review on it, though. So with that in mind, and with the fact that this is brand new, and yet this machine's out of stock, and I can't find stock of one anywhere, I just had to grab it, since I know that it, if this was gone, I was going to regret not having it, uh, and not getting it, considering that this would be gone, and I couldn't find any stock anywhere else. When I was in the store, I was researching this, and trying to find stock of any of these anywhere, and I couldn't find it. So since this is pretty much the last one that I was aware of that was brand new from a retail environment, I picked it up. So, and again, I have owned this machine before, so I do know it to be a good machine. And yet at the same time, I wanted to do a full-fledged review on it. Plus, whenever I got this, or whenever this uh, showed up in the store, which actually also was the day that I got this, I had just gotten the old-style Dirt Devil Breeze, which I do still have. Um, I just haven't cleaned it up and, you know, reconditioned it yet, but, um, I did clean out the hose, but nothing else on it. So I figured if I get this, I can do a comparison between the two models, do a review on both of them, see which one I like more and that sort of deal. So I thought, what the heck, 50 bucks, might as well pick it up, you know, um, for like less than the price of like a switch game or something like that. I got another vacuum to review and it's brand new sealed in the box. Nothing wrong with it. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to open this up. We're going to assemble it. So that way, if you happen to somehow find one of these, this video will serve as an unboxing tutorial or a, a unboxing and assembly tutorial. As usual, you have this really weak tape that doesn't hold all that well, especially against a serrated knife like this. So we're going to cut the tape. No, none of these seals were broken like they were on a few other vacuums that I've unboxed recently. So... There we go. Unboxing this with one hand, which is kind of difficult, especially since this is spinning. So, just going to poke through there, slice through that, and now I can start that and rip this box open without getting myself a paper cut or box cut, so to speak. So, as you can see, it says, thank you for selecting this Dirt Devil product. And then it says, let us help you put your vacuum together, order parts and accessories, or answer any questions. Well, that first part you don't need help with because I'm going to do that for you. And it has the 800 number and the website. Ooh, that's harsh. So anyways, first things first, 
we have the owner's manual. There was there was an owner's manual for one of the Dirt Devils that were on display, and someone stuck a piece of gum in it, which is fantastic. Got the screws right there, stapled to the manual, which I do not like. I really do not like that, that they stapled that to the manual. Nevertheless, that's what they did. This takes belt style 5 and filter type F66. So this takes the same style 4 and 5 belts. Um, that also is taken by my Dirt Devil Swivel Glide, my Other Breeze, and my Phantoms. My Phantom Thunder and Fury. So that's good. So I got plenty of those belts. And it's got all these other instructions. Please read these instructions carefully before using your product. Well, I'm not going to do that. So, for and it says, for genuine replacement parts at DirtDevil.com. So, now we can see, first things first, and my camera's going to freeze because my Note 9 is having issues. Here's a dusting brush. Very nice new dusting brush. Much better condition than the Elite dusting brush was in for some reason. I don't know why that Hoover was in such poor condition for being a brand new unboxed product. But, um... I still decided to keep it, as you can tell, since I have two of them. <laughs> also, for some reason, this is the old Elite up front. You can see the new Elite that's behind it actually has a lot darker of a shade of red, which is very interesting and odd. This appears to be identical to every other new style Dirt Double Breeze that I've owned. I haven't had one in any fancy color other than the standard red. This is a very nice, small, compact box, but that also means there's more assembly, so, you know, kind of comes with that. We got the, ooh, this is a lot lighter than I thought it was. You got the Cyclone Assembly and Dirt Container. So we'll set that aside. We got the Extension Wand and Crevice Tool. There's not a lot of plastic in here, so hopefully nothing got scratched. Plastic can't really scratch plastic. This has that classic new Dirt Devil smell that I haven't smelled in a long time. I don't think... I believe this is the first Dirt Devil I've ever unboxed, but despite that, some used Dirt Devils do sometimes have that classic Dirt Devil smell, and this definitely does have it. So we can see there's the extra long crevice tool. So this is much longer than what you would see from some other manufacturers, as well as the extension wand is significantly longer than what you would see from some other machines. This is longer than both the Hoover and especially the Bissell extension wand. So we'll set that aside as well. See, so we've got some styrofoam. I absolutely despise styrofoam and I do not like that Dirt Devil used styrofoam instead of cardboard because this stuff is awful. Thankfully none of it appeared to break inside the package and get all over the machine. So next we have the handle. So there's the handle again, not wrapped in plastic, so the not very in, not very secure packaging. We've got the middle frame, which does have a tiny little piece of cardboard. So this one will, will require a decent amount of assembly to it. We've got the hose wrapped up in here, not coiled or anything, just sitting loose in the box, but it appears to be just fine. And finally, we have the actual machine with the cord wrapped up. And this part's pretty heavy, but we can see right there, brand new. Now the cord's wrapped in plastic. So we're going to take this and snap it. Oh, wow, that was loud. I'm sorry about that. That was really loud. Headphone warning, this handle latch is really loud. It doesn't want to snap upright. Got to push that and then push it in. Wow, that does not want to lock upright. There we go. Okay. So there is a tiny little piece of styrofoam stuck in there. We can see there's that filter, brand new, nice and clean. Here's all the information. Part number, all sort of all sorts of stuff. There's the brand new brush roll. Very, very nice brush roll. This brush roll cleans very well from what I remember. All things considered. But I could be wrong, I haven't used one of these in a while. This is the first new one. 
So that little manual came with three screws, so pretty self-explanatory. We're going to remove this little pack of screws. And actually, no. First, I'm just going to take this little section and, oh yeah, two screws right there to put in. And then for the handle, one screw right there. So super self-explanatory. Just take this little frame, line this up right here. How does this go in? Line this up right here. Is there anything in the way? Nope. Line this up right here and just slide it on. Yeah, that's easy. Just slide that on. It's not on all the way. Perhaps that's because there's some styrofoam in here. There we go. Why I hate styrofoam. So now we can see there's two little two little posts right here. So we want to take this, slide it on like this, and clip it down. There we go, just like that. So that snaps in just fine. And now that middle section snapped in. We take the two screws from the packaging and put it on either side right there. So with a standard Phillips head screwdriver, you just turn both of these screws, turn them in. Do not use any sort of drill screwdriver or anything like that you want to make sure to hand tighten these and once you get a substantial amount of resistance you want to stop threading it because you don't want to strip these screws this plastic is very very soft and you do not want to crack it or strip either of the screws so once you start to get a substantial amount of resistance the screws will not lock out completely so be sure to stop whenever you have a substantial amount of resistance and again especially with this machine do not use any sort of drill to put the screws in or you will possibly damage the housing. As you can see, the screws are in all the way and the machine is held together properly. So next, we're gonna take the handle and we're just gonna slide this handle on like this with the screw facing towards the back. You want the hose hook and the handle to be facing towards the back of the machine like this, just like that. Then you want to take the one screw, all three of these screws are the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up because they're all the same. Then you put this screw in, and again, you want to line this up properly because you don't want to... These screw threads are pretty fragile, and you really do not want to mess these up. So it's actually best to just go ahead and start threading it with the screwdriver because trying to hand thread it, you probably won't line it up correctly. As you can see, I'm struggling to do this. But normally you would have two hands, and if you had two hands, this would be done a lot quicker than if you're trying to make a tutorial video on how to put this together. <laughs> so as you can see, we just want to start tightening, tightening it, just like that. And again, you just want to hand tighten it, you don't want to use any sort of drill or anything. And then just keep tightening the screw until it locks out. And then just once it once it you get a decent amount of resistance, just tighten it like maybe another quarter turn, and then you're good to go. So again, just make sure those are in all the way. But at the same time, you don't want to strip it or anything, because again, this is a pretty fragile machine. So you want to make sure not to actually strip that screw. And there you go. Now the main body is all together. So next, the only thing last that we need to install is the hose, then the dirt container, and then the attachments. Well, I guess you do those in any sort of order, but I'm gonna do it in that order. So now we're gonna take the hose, and this is really self-explanatory. This hose has a little hook right here. You hook it into this bottom of this hose cuff like this, just like that. So you can see now it's flush. Then you just turn it upwards, and then snap it into the top catch on the top of the hose connector which again is hard to do with one hand. You gotta make sure it's lined up correctly. Hold on, give me one sec. There we go, I got it. So just like this, and then there we go, snap it in. So now that's all connected. So you just take the hose, put it up on the clip like this, snap it into this clip down here, like that. 
then finally you take this end of the hose and there is a little little cover right there that's supposed to prevent the dirt from flinging out of this opening whenever you're using the tools so we just take this hose and just use it to kind of push that out of the way and slide it into the base and just slide it in there firmly just like that so you know it has a good connection and there you go this hose appears to be a little bit thinner and shorter than the last one that I had than actually either of the other two that I had which is interesting but either way now that hose is fully installed so now we want to take the plastic off of the cyclone assembly just slide that down like that just like that we can see that's nice new and pristine dirt devil breeze cyclonic and just line it up with the filter section down there and snap it into the top of the cleaner and again so at first you have to kind of push it to get to actually snap you want to make sure it's actually snapped in place otherwise it will not be sealed properly there we go then we take our extension wand and our crevice tool just like this we want to slide it into this catch right here and there's a tiny little peg right here you can see you just want the extension wand to sit on that peg just like that then we take our dusting brush and this pops on this post back here just like that now some select models include a turbo brush and if you have a turbo brush that will go into the turbo brush bracket on the front of the handle so next finally we just take this plastic off off of this cord and we can see this cord has this little cord protector on it which we can take off and we also have these two free little twist ties that Dirt Devil includes which is really nice to hold the cable together so we're just going to untwist these just like that and we're going to untwist this one if I can do this with one hand it's hard to do when I'm looking through a camera just untwist that there we go now we can grab this cord make sure this cord clip is flipped upright so this actually flips downwards if you want to easily remove the cord and it flips 360 degrees so you can then twist it back up to be able to rewind the cord again so then we just start winding the cord around just like this so you see this little cord clip down here this kind of little clip right here wind it around that and through the top until the cable is completely wound up There we go. Now the cord is completely wound up. Perfect. And that is how you unbox and assemble your brand new Dirt Devil Breeze Cyclonic Upright Vacuum Cleaner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And subscribe to Intellitech Studios for more vacuum cleaner unboxings and other tech videos. Anyway guys, this is Intellitech Studios, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.